Hello and welcome to another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. Um, for those of you who are new, this series I wanted to create like a support network for anyone suffering with anxiety, depression, just generally feeling low, or if you just want to have a chat and do makeup. I thought I'd do it as a once a week thing um, at the weekend where we can all chat and support each other. Just kind of a get together, like a like a coffee meeting. I don't know, something like that. Um, but anyways, that is what this is. So I am going to crack on and see you in the comments. So I've done my skincare, I've done my brows and carved them out, and I've got my lip balm on. It is my current favorite, it's from Madage Beauty. It's the uh, Lip Envy Lip Balm in Strawberry. It smells divine. I am obsessed and um, with Madage Beauty I do have a discount code so if you wanted to check them out the discount code is just Steph10 you'll find all of my discount codes listed in the description box below so uh, yeah let's crack on so the primer I've got isn't new but it's my favorite this is the Catrice Tensational 10 in 1 Dream Primer it's my absolute favorite do any of you guys have a favorite primer it doesn't matter what ones I choose, I always come back to this. It just leaves the skin with a really healthy glow. And I just find that everything, well, all of my foundations seem to sit really nice on top of it. So obviously I'm avoiding all where I've got that concealer. So yeah, I've got a few new things to try today. So if any of you have any of these products, do let me know what you think of them. All right, so I do have a new foundation to try. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. And I have it in the shade 220N. Now, by the looks of it, it looks to be a good colour match. I've been dying to try this for ages and uh, a very lovely friend of mine sent it to me to uh, try along with a few other products. I won't name her in case she doesn't want to be named but you know who you are and thank you very much. Um, this is looking nice. Well it seems to be sitting beautifully on the skin. I'd definitely put this at a medium coverage. Let's see if it can be built up. Let's have a see. It definitely does give a luminous finish. It seems to be building up nicely, actually. Yeah, so far I'd say uh, I'm liking how that's looking. It's very luminous, I like that. So, let's move on to concealer. Um, I do already have this concealer in another shade, but my friend very kindly sent me the shade 033 Cool Almond to try. It's the good, I didn't even say what it was, did I? It is the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. So let's give this a go. I do have another one, another new concealer to try under my eyes. Um, but this one is for general spot concealing and scar hiding. <laughs> It does look to be a better colour match. So let's. It is. Oh, perfect. I do love the uh, Catrice True Skin Concealer. It is. Uh, it's a really nice one. I love the smell of it too. I know a lot of people don't like makeup to smell, but as long as I like the smell then it's all good with me. 
So for under my eyes, I have the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. I have that in the shade, I haven't got my glasses on, 4N Neutral. I have heard a few people say some really good things about this, so... Definitely brightened it up. Oh, so far so good. That's looking really nice. So I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder just to set under my eyes quick. So it doesn't crease. Perfect. So for cream contour, I'm going to use the Sosu Contour Stick in Cool. I love this. This is a firm favourite at the moment. I saw Nikki Raven um, put the cream contour on by painting it on the brush first. Because um, I always draw it straight on my face. And for the cream blush, I obviously put it on the brush first, so I don't know why I didn't think about doing that for contour, but I didn't. But it's made it so much, not that it was difficult to start with, but it's a lot easier to have more control doing it this way. So thank you, Nikki. I do love this contour stick from So So. It's such, it's so easy to use, like it blends in really easily. I'm filming, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. It blends in really easily and I think it's uh, a pretty good colour contour for me. Yeah, I've been trying other ones but this is still, still my favourite at the moment when it comes to cream contour. And not just for the colour but the formula is amazing as well. It definitely makes this quicker by putting it on the brush first and not trying to blend out a solid line. Yeah, that is definitely a cream contour I recommend. I know you can get it on Beauty Bay. And I don't know if it's called Beauty or Look Fantastic. One of them. But anyways, you can get it on Beauty Bay. For cream blush, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup by Lisa, Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Plum. And again, just getting some product on the brush. This definitely works better if you're doing just a little at a time. Again, this is a really, really nice formula. Another one I highly recommend. And I also do have a discount code for Makeup by Lisa. It will be in the description box below. These lip and cheek balms are just beautiful. I was very kindly gifted this to try. And I am obsessed. So have any of you guys tried anything from Makeup by Lisa? It's definitely a brand that I am loving. It's a really nice formula. And it does come in a few different shades. So go check that out. If you like cream blushes, it also works really nice as a, as a lip balm, like tinted lip balm. But I prefer it as a, a cream blush because uh, when it comes to colour on my lips, I generally prefer to have solid colour, like from a, a bullet lipstick or a liquid lipstick. But I have worn this as, uh, as a lip balm, like tinted lip balm, and it did look beautiful. So if you like that subtle colour, then you'll probably love that. 
powder I'm using is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder I really enjoy this and just firstly make sure I go over all the well the t-zone with a smaller brush I don't take too much product around here I don't tend to use too much powder anywhere if I can help it because uh, I have aging skin and uh, I don't want to highlight that <laughs> I've got the, the big 4-0 this year <laughs> I don't know where the time has gone I feel like I've blinked and I turned from a teenager to a nearly 40 year old so what have you guys got planned for this weekend? I think mine's going to be mostly sitting around feeling sorry for myself as per the usual. I do think I'm going to be getting some more filming done. So I'm going to be filming my first ever episode of new releases and sneak peeks. And I'm really excited for it because it's my first time doing one of those style videos. But I do have a lot of really good stuff saved on Instagram. So yeah, that will be going live. Oh, crikey, I haven't decided between a Sunday and a Monday yet. Probably a Monday. So yeah, that will be going up on Monday. So on to contour, powder contour. Um, I'm using the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in Cool and Light. And on the inside, she looks like this. This isn't new to me. I love it. And let's just do some brightening first. It's a really nice formula, this is. I do really enjoy it. I'm so impressed with a lot of brands I've been uh, discovering recently and trying for the first time. Kaleidos being one, um, I am in love with the Club Nebula palette. Absolutely love it. And... Uh, and my uh, highlighter, I've got the Space Age highlighter Skywalker. I love that too. And this is just beautiful. Another brand I've been really enjoying is Nomad. I have the Iceland Fire and Ice palette and it is another firm favourite. Absolutely love that palette, the formula is amazing, the colour story is perfect. So yeah, Nomad's definitely another one I've been uh, really enjoying. Um, Madage Beauty, another new UK indie brand. Um, in love mainly with the mascara and the lip balm. Beautiful. The eyeshadows are really nice, the blusher. So yeah, really enjoying that. There's Makeup by Lisa. Artitude Cosmetics. So I love trying new brands and I love supporting the smaller indie brands. I love how you get that personal touch with uh, a smaller indie brand. So I do have a new blush to try. I've got the Piece of Cake blush palette from Beauty Bakery and she has three blushes in there. So I think today I'm gonna to go with I think I'm gonna go with slice. I'm loving an orange blush at the moment. Ooh. Very pigmented. <laughs> Ooh. Um, 
Okay, now this is a beautiful colour. I totally got this in the wrong order, but hey, hey, I usually do my blush after my eyes. But never mind. So let's move on to eyes. So I'm going to prime my eyes first with the Be Perfect Perfect Prime eyeshadow priming base. This is definitely one of my favourite eyeshadow primers, eye primers. It's got just enough colour for a reasonable coverage. Um, and I just find that eyeshadows blend really well on top of it. It's got enough tack to grip them, but it's smooth enough that it doesn't stop them blending out. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I do have a new eyeshadow to try. I have the Lime Crime Venus palette. And and she looks like this. And I'm also going to be using a single from the Pastel Roses called California. Look at that. Very excited to use that. And the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is Rebirth. This is my first, oh, pigmented, pigmented, oh, there's a lot of kick up there. This is my first time trying uh, Lime Crime Shadows, so let's see how this goes. Okay. okay there is quite a lot of kick up in the pan. Uh, I don't mind that as long as uh, as long as the eyeshadow performs well, which uh, it does appear to be performing very well. So this is just the first shade, and then I am going to be going in with Muse to deepen up the outer V crease. Okay, so apparently the storage was full, so it stopped recording. I think it was just about as I was going to put Muse on. So I've put Muse in my outer corner and slightly into the crease to deepen up. And the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I used Aura. And, and then on my lid, I have used California from the Pastel Roses. I have to say I'm in love with this shimmer. Pastel Roses, so far I'm obsessed with their shimmers, they are beautiful. So let's hope that I have cleared enough space to film the rest of this video, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare, <laughs> absolute nightmare. Right, so I'm just going to quickly curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curlers and then we'll crack on with mascara. So the mascara I'm going in with is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. I am loving this. Absolutely loving it. Look at that. One coat. Beautiful. Let's stick another coat on. And I am going to go in with a third coat to see. Can... Wow. Yes. So I think, should we go for just my lashes today? Yeah, let's skip the falsies today. So in my waterline, I'm going to pop the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Peach Fuzz. I absolutely love these liners. They're even better than my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencils and I love them. Yes, happy with that. I think that goes beautifully. And then I'm just going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. Yeah, 
yeah I'm happy with that I'm going to add some more of this blush slice so I think we could do with a little bit more color It is a really nice blush, actually. I don't think it's good enough to replace my pelt and shout ones, but I definitely enjoy it. I'll definitely be using it some more. Hmm. Yeah, I do have a thing for orangey and yellowy blushes at the moment. I just think they suit my skin tone well and they seem to go with most of the eye looks I do. So for highlighter I'm going in with my Ofra Rodeo Drive. I love this highlighter. Look at that. I'm so tempted to get the collab between Ofra and Steph Toms. I love Steph Toms. I've been watching her for such a long time. And uh, I was so excited for her when I saw that she was actually getting to do it because it was actually Steph Toms that got me hooked on Ofra's Rodeo Drive. She's just raved about it for years. So, uh... I have seen her video where she shows her uh, is it cookies and milk and it, just, it looks beautiful. I do tend to go a bit overboard with this. <laughs> Can't help it, I love it. Beautiful. And then just with the blusher brush, just blend blusher into the highlight. And that is the perfect match. Beautiful. Right, so lipstick. So I completely forgot I had this. I have got, it's in my box of shame, the Catrice Plumping Gel Lipstick, Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in the shade 080. So let's give this a try. Ooh. Well, that feels really nice. Plumping. I don't know as I'd call it plumping. It's very comfortable though, very silky. Feels very hydrating. And I love the colour. Love it. Yeah, it's just called 080. I'm sure it had. Aha! It does have a name. They've got it in the tiniest of writing, right on the back. 080 Feminista. So this is the Feminista Plumping Gel Lipstick from Catrice. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this look. And for those of you in the live chat now, hi, what do you think of this? Let me know. So that is it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, then I hope you will consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. I am a huge lover of all things makeup, especially colourful makeup, and I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. And for those of you here for the live, thank you so much for joining me. And those of you who are watching this at a later date, then thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.